Hi guys, I'm here today to do an update video of the completed series tag that I did last year as I've completed a lot more series just in the space this year so I thought, show them all off, show my reading progress um, I've not really got them in any particular order other than I've separated manga and novels that's the only order I've got so I'm just going to do the manga first because there's nowhere near as much of that um, so the first series that I've completed in manga is Ceres the Celestial Legend by Yu Watase and uh, this series is 14 books long and um, it's a, like it's a horror sort of it's it's advertised as a horror but I wouldn't really say it's that horrifying um, but it's like an angel story I'll give you that um, and then the next one is Fushigi Yugi Genbu Kaden. Um, this has 12 volumes and um, this is the prequel to the Fushigi Yugi series also by Yuatase. Uh, there's a slight theme in the manga I like and this is the story of the original priestess of Genbu who is Takiga and she's actually my favourite priestess I'm really glad I got this series fantastic so that's all the manga sadly only two but it's very difficult to collect Especially here in the UK, it seems like a lot of things that came out in America got discontinued when they got to England. So, yeah. Right, let's just dive straight in with the first series. is unfortunately one that I would not recommend, and that is Dark Angel by Eden Maguire. This is a trilogy, and I, I did enjoy his first book, but then the second book was the same story, and then the third book was the same story but even more ridiculous. And it was just, I don't know, I wasn't a fan. I felt like it, it was just the same things over and over and over again. And whilst there were some interesting elements to it, it, it doesn't stay interesting when you're telling me the same story again. So, uh, yeah, you should have just left this as a standalone. Sorry. Next is a trilogy that I absolutely adore. I keep talking about it on this channel. And that is the Ashes trilogy by Isla J. Bick. This is the story of um, when the world is hit by an electromagnetic pulse and um, it wiped out pretty much all the adults. Um, there's only really pensioners left and people about under 25. And um, in a lot of the children they became flesh-eating cannibals and they, um, they're kind of like, they're not quite zombies, but they're not human either, they're, it's very strange. And um, some of the humans, because there is people who are unaltered in that sense, um, have heightened, heightened senses, so it's kind of like a bit of a power for them. Um, and we follow a girl called Alex who has the heightened sense of smell, and of course she's trying to get out of the whole situation, she just wants to get to a safe place. Next is probably the the perfect trilogy. Again, I've spoke about it a lot. Absolutely adore it. That is the Sky Chasers trilogy by Amy Kathleen Ryan. This is called Glow. Um, this is the story of two ships out in space and um, they can't live on Earth anymore because it's been ruined by people being people and um, they're trying to go to a new earth which they have been coordinated to go to. There's two ships, one is religious, one is uh, non-religious and the religious one all of a sudden just stops. It was ahead and it just stops and waits for the non-religious and ruins the lives of everyone on that ship and we follow the children who have to deal with these situations that are going on around them. Next is a series that I'm not recommending again, not just, I enjoyed the first book again and uh, that is Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. Uh, it just got more and more boring and ridiculous the more we got through it. Again, it should have been a standalone because I, I, would, I wouldn't have thought so badly about this. Um, but it's just... <sighs> ridiculous characters, it's an angel story if you haven't been able to tell already and it's just bad. I don't I just I don't just explain it. I mean there's 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 just nothing. This the main character just she's just so dreary. Yeah, don't read it. <laughs> Next is a series I absolutely adore. Again a trilogy. I've done a lot of trilogies. Um 
and again I've probably gone on about this a lot on this channel but oh well and that is the Under the Never Sky trilogy by Veronica Rossi fantastic trilogy uh, this is the story of a dystopian future where people are either living on the outside uh, suffering with ether storms or they are hidden in the domes to get away from this ether and um, the people on the outside world again have heightened senses theme running here um, and the people inside the dome are quite like uh, oblivious to the outside world they just think everyone outside is savage and of course our main character is from the dome and she has to go to the outside world to find her mother next we have Star Crossed by Josephine Angelini. This is a trilogy again, and um, this is a Greek mythology story. Um, like all the characters are like the descendants of the gods, and uh, they're reliving this same story, the Helen of Troy story. It is um, like again and again throughout the generations. And uh, so I say, let's free these. Um, Next we have the, I don't know, I think it's called the Winter Trilogy, but it's A Witch in Winter and the other two that go on with it. Uh, again, this was a bit of an up and down uh, trilogy. I really enjoyed the first one and I did enjoy bits of the other ones. And it just, I don't know, it was very up and down, very up and down. Uh, this is a story about a girl who realises that she's a witch and um, crazy things follow her, of course. Um, next is a series that everyone's probably read or probably at least knows about and uh, it's very controversial you ever love it or you hate it. I won't, say, I won't say I loved it but I enjoyed it and that is the Hush Hush uh, series <laughs> by Becca Fitzpatrick. There is actually four in this one and um, I, I liked it. It had. It's usually you either like this or you like Fallen. This actually had some story to it, it actually had a personality to it. Um, yes, the characters aren't brilliant. They're not. They are very flawed characters, but they weren't flawed as in the most bland, pathetic ways that they were in Fallen, in my eyes. And I just found the actual things that were going on with the characters much more interesting in this story. Next, we have the Abandoned trilogy by Meg Cabot. This is a retelling of the Hades and Persephone. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, Greek myth. And um, our main character, of course, is, is the Persephone character, and she ends up in the underworld, and we follow her story throughout that. Uh, next is a four book series, that is the Mercy series by Rebecca Lim. Yeah, it was. Um, and this is a story about an angel who keeps switching human bodies. She, like, she doesn't possess, because it's not like malicious. So she, she kind of possesses people and tries to help like solve things in their lives or make other people's lives better and um, for some reason she ends up moving on. She never she never has any control over it and she's trying to find out why she is the way she is. Uh, next we have the Nightshade trilogy by Andrea Karima. Yeah. This is a, another one that started off really well and just kind of eh, throughout it. I, really, I wasn't particularly like excited about the next two books, whereas I gave this one a five stars. Uh, this is a werewolf story. Vicky, you get really bad at explaining these stories now, are you? This is a werewolf story about a girl who is supposed to marry the alpha child from another pack and they're supposed to create their own pack together. Next is the Dead Beautiful trilogy, and uh, this is by Yvonne Woon. I really enjoyed this trilogy. Uh, this is about teenagers coming back to life after they die, if they have a near-death experience, I think it is, and then they... Oh, God. Anyways, these teenagers come back to life when they die, and um, they don't have a soul anymore, and the only way they can gain a soul is to take one from another person. And our main character ends up meeting one of these undead people and getting involved in uh, his search for his soul. Yeah, pretty good series. Um, next is another trilogy. So many trilogies. All the trilogies. Uh, the Hereafter trilogy by Tara Hudson. This is this trilogy about a ghost girl named Amelia who is roaming the earth and she doesn't quite understand why. And she 
ends up getting involved in the underworld as well and she gets caught up in a huge thing she didn't realise she was like as important as she is one of those stories you know but it's enjoyable uh, next is the only contemporary thing I think that I've got here yep and that is the Perfect Chemistry Trilogy um, by Simone Alcalas. I can't remember her name then I think it might actually be called the the well, what's her name Fuentes Brothers Trilogy or something I don't know but anyways I've read all three of them uh, fantastic first two the third one was a bit too much for me I wasn't as impressed I think she just stretched it out way too far but uh, it was a fun series anyway um, next is the Paranormalcy Trilogy by Kirsten White this is the last trilogy that I've got to show you guys and um, this is the story of a girl named Evie who um, is in a facility capturing paranormals and um, bringing them to the facility to keep people safe and of course things aren't quite as they seem and last but not least is I think I have finished this series because every time I think I have it it has another book um, so I'm just gonna say I think I have this is why it's last I guess um, just luckily it was at the bottom of my pile and that is Elizabeth Chandler's Kiss by an Angel series this is the first three books in a bind up which I didn't realise when I bought this and I absolutely adored this fantastic then the next three it's kind of like she realised how much everyone loved the first three and just wrote some more <laughs> and it's quite I'm not, it, it dips, but I had to finish it because, you know, I, I punished myself like that. And I've read the, the next three, and I believe there is just those six stories. If I'm wrong, then I'm really sorry. But to be honest, I would just read this bind up, or the first three if, if you find them in that form, and then just stop from there because this is a complete story. I had no idea there was going to be any more. I thought this was it. Fantastic standalone. I was happy with it. And then I found out it's actually three books and that there's going to be three more. So yes, that's all of the series that I have completed throughout the last year. A lot of reading, I know, and I've started quite a few as well. So hopefully next year we'll have a nicer version of this again. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking with me so long. Bye.